Oh, fuck. I, um, how are you guys? Um, I don't know how, how the fuck I used to record these videos and I have absolutely no clue, but, um, there's my towel. This is my new room. I'm not living in a matchbox anymore. I mean, soon I won't be living in this room either. I'll just be going back home, but like, yeah, um, I was just going over like, uh, how do I fucking put this? So I was just going over these, um, I basically use a notes app and like, I just have the tendency to just like go scroll back and like check weird things within like the weird app and just be like, huh, what the fuck was that idea? And just, and just see what the heck the weird thing was about. So now, um, I found this thing, right? Um, and this is, <laughs> this is, this is just like a thing that like I used to check out. Like, not check out, but, like, I would just, like, weirdly remember these basically, like, five to seven things that, like, oh, yeah, I used to do this. And, like, I don't know why the fuck I did that. Or, like, why did I do that? Just, like, multiple levels of questioning for, like, no reason without any great depth either. And it's just, like, the, so the title goes, stupid fucking shit I've done that occasionally I feel weird or guilty about. Um, basically, never really talked to myself about these until recently. <laughs> Here's the catch, right? I spoke about these to myself recently because that was fucking 2021 or so. Like 2020, I don't remember, I don't care. I do care, but like, I just don't remember. So, um, this, <laughs> this just, I, I have a feeling I've actually recorded this video again now that I've like started this one. But um, if my audience is anything like me, you have forgotten it. And if I have, a, if I have an audience at all, because I get like, um, I don't know, seven, eight views. The one thing carrying my career is this one AMV made, I made in late 2020, which is doing great, by the way. I don't know how the fuck it's still getting views. It's it's at two and a half K. And like the last time I checked it out, it was um, 1,700. 800 views in eight months is bloody good for something that I, I had put three hours of effort in. That's amazing, right? And like, yeah, anyway, fucking hell. Um, derailing. I guess that's what I got in common with bad trains. No, too dark. I don't know. I don't care. So, uh, for the longest time in my life, I used to use, um, I don't know how the fuck I got away with it for so long. Right. So, uh, you know, the word jump and its conjugations and like how jumped is the thing for like, Oh, I jumped. I used to fucking say I jump. And, and like this, this remained this way till I was like 16, 17, by the way, I found out because, um, we were playing cricket with, um, in Arjun's building and I was like, oh, you jump weirdly. And they were just, they, they, they paused for a second. Like you realize, you know, you really, you fucking fucked up and like, they're like, no, it jumped. And I'm like 100% confident. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm really good with words. Okay, I got this in the bag. And I was like, fully acting as if like, what the fuck are these guys talking about? Like, yeah, jumped is a word, but jump is the correct way of saying it. And I'm like, 110% confident. And like, we Google it. And I'm just like, oh my fucking God, I've been wrong my entire life. And they just go, it's been jumped all along. For how long have you been using it? And I'm like, forever. And like, I'm just like so embarrassed about that. But it's funny in retrospect, just to me, because like nobody remembers this other than me, most likely. Because for them, they were just, they were just like, oh yeah, Gupta's being stupid again. And like, oh yeah, there we go. Um, For this one, right? The time is, it did sometime during school, okay? Ninth, eighth, tenth, I think eighth or ninth, right? And, um, <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so basically there's like the band of McDonald's right on Linking Road. I I'm saying right as if like you know where it is, but like I don't know who the fuck is my audience, five people. Um so the McDonald's in Bandra outside Linking Road. No. Outside the McDonald's on Linking Road. I can't even read right. Holy shit. Um <laughs> There was basically a guy who was selling maps and he was like, uh, haven't eaten anything since morning, haven't done anything. And on like a general basis, I do not believe in um, hot take, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't believe in giving money out to poor people just like in front of me because I have seen personal instances of people taking that money and uh, going buying alcohol or like... Um, 
drugs or like something along those lines right i mean i would i i have given people like direct food that like they cannot sell anywhere else like i don't give them raw food but like um money is something that i don't believe in giving them as money itself oh my god so this guy basically said that okay i have no problem i will do one thing i will sell you a map and like uh, i was like yeah okay sure i there was a group of me and like four others and i have no fucking clue as to why these guys were also trying to sell me his map and i'm like why are you making me i hadn't realized it at that time right because i was just like there I, it was probably like the second or third time i'm going out to eat with people who i could call friends at the time I, it was just like an insane experience for me so i had never been out without my parents i don't fucking know how this works <laughs> wow i was such a fucking loner so i'm like 13 or 14 at this point right and then um this person is like trying to sell off a map to me and eventually i was like yeah okay fine i'll take the map i have like no problem with it but like um we asked the guys in mcdonald's and for some reason we thought that you can't take a map inside and they were like yeah you can just take it later or whatever and um i did not take the map I gave money to the guy 125 rupees because I fucking bargained for the map from a guy who hadn't eaten in days. Holy shit, I'm a weird bunny. Uh. Um but like that's just about right, I guess. Um So I went, we went inside, we had a good enough time, we ate and then like when we came outside there was nobody there. Holy fucking hell, I got scammed, bro. I just gave money to a person who was going to give me goods in return and he did not give me the goods cuz the map guy was gone. and we tried looking right cuz I, i tried looking cuz i'm like no way i got scammed right like how the hell can that can this happen to me i'm totally so smart and like so yeah i got fucking scammed i'm an idiot <laughs> mm the next one is uh in 10th standard or 9th standard after like one of the exams got over uh two of my friends and i had gone to a mall i don't know why we went to a mall okay again one of my f- first few experiences going out with people i guess and basically we went to a mall we had a bunch of fun at the mall and on the way back <laughs> the guy at the rickshaw was not convinced about knowing the road so um i thought the turn which was there right i was like pretty convinced that like yeah 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 this is the turn we take to go home it was the wrong turn there, there's no consequence to this it was just like a big it was just like it just added like 20 30 minutes to like our journey cuz you know mumbai traffic and all but it wasn't that big of a deal i don't know why the fuck these two made it that big of a deal it was not that big of a deal and like i think i was just like i was made to feel very guilty about this at the time when they were like oh we were supposed to reach home by this time our curfew was this this now and like bro i made a mistake i understand that i am sorry we'll still get home either way it's not like we're fucking lost three of us are together we have our fucking phones if this guy does not find the way we'll just ask at the signal and that's what we fucking did we asked at the signal for the fucking road then and like oh yeah they were like yeah you have to go this way and then there and i was like see it is a left it was just not this left it's the next left after you take the right so i was not like i mean i was definitely at fault but they didn't have to fucking guilt me like that This one is just here because um this was not very cash money of them to do like yeah just put this pressure on me for no fucking reason. Ah uh, uh <laughs> a fun incident so um I used to do spelling bee because I had no friends and I used to think that if I get really good at one cuz see this is stupid anime brain logic like teaching you right like oh yeah if you get really good at this one thing people will acknowledge you or whatever I don't know I don't know so I got into spelling bee really hardcore after like uh, when I was 9 I um reached the state level or something I mean yeah I st- I, I, I'm just I'm acting as if I don't know I reached it. like yeah uh wait no when i was in fourth i reached the district level i was just like a huge surreal experience for me and like i was just like wowed by all of it and then um year on year it, it would just be like a great experience right a you get to miss one day of school b they announce your name on the fucking like um thing that like oh this these people have been selected for this it just felt great it just felt like people would finally know me like oh, i don't know because uh, i was a weird little guy 
and I kept at spelling bee and I, I enjoyed I enjoyed doing spelling bee I'll be for real I enjoyed just sitting with a fucking I don't know dictionary and learning words and I'd be like oh I'm a word nerd and I never spoke I never said that phrase to anyone by the way because I had no friends at the time for till like um, a long period of time basically and then like eighth standard comes around or seventh I don't remember seventh I want to believe but I think it's eighth I don't know um basically i got sick at some point in time for like 3 or 4 days and then i came back and like uh, most of the people who had qualified like most as in like people who had qualified they basically got their certificates of qualification i was like yeah oh, okay cool i guess i haven't qualified this one still hurts me right because uh, this was essentially like the last time you do spelling bee and then like uh I don't know man this sucks because uh um, mm, yeah it sucked ass because this time I was like very confident about it with my preparation and everything and um, this was I don't know if it was for states or if it was for nationals I don't I actually don't remember because this is a bad memory right um and like the ticket was fucking gone and I just straight up gave up on spelling bee after that instead of like you know going at it again next year or um ah, it's fucking tough for me to speak see my voice is just getting like little little shivery over there i don't know it was just not a great experience um uh, i don't know who did it or why they did it but like i have a rough idea as to who it was and i think they did it so that they could you know we were both isolated ish i think i know who did it so basically they gave out the tickets like they they not tickets but like the slips that like you have to take them this is basically your uh, participation thing for the next level so you had to take that to the next thing and um, it's insane right so one day after the spelling bee competition the thing where it was taking place it got over the same guy fucking found the ticket in a rack and he said that bro this is your name on it and i'm like why the fuck did nobody inform me or like even if not inform why didn't anyone just tell me that like hey i don't know man it was not a good experience i'm i'm i am over it because i don't fucking care anymore but it was just like such a weird experience to go through because uh i i i worked hard for it man i fucking worked hard for it Yeah, I mean the last one is uh, a moment of just sheer idiocy. So we had watched La La Land and uh, after this we had like plans of like going out and eating. <laughs> and and this this is just like a weird stupid idea, right? Which had no consequences on me. But it was just like why did I do this again? So we were heading to Burger King, right? Uh after like uh, we watched the movie in suburbia but, and then we were heading to Burger King. Burger King. <laughs> We're heading to Burger King. So there's basically two routes you can take. One of them is through the um uh yeah, there's basically two routes you can take if you're if you're any time in Bandra, I'll just fucking show the routes to you. And um are, like these two guys were like right about the route they selected. So they they went down the correct road. They reached there faster. And <laughs> I um I don't know if I had the idea but like I was definitely a participant in this whole thing where we were like oh we were just so offended by being wrong I guess that we said that okay we're going to not go to Burger King uh, let them reach there early or whatever and we went to um <laughs> we went to Swedish House Mafia which is like on a completely different road which is like at a completely different length and it's pretty far away and uh, they called us and like first we didn't pick up and then like they kept spam calling us like where the fuck are you guys it's it should not take that long for you guys to reach here and um <laughs> i don't know it was just so goofy we we finally called them back that like oh you got the correct route huh uh, we are at a different place now i don't know what the fuck is wrong with us Arjun had a nice brawling match with Anshul in public that was fucking hilarious in retrospect and like uh, i remember devansh and i was just sitting there like why did we participate in this like we could have stopped this at any point in time again i don't remember if it was my idea or anshul's idea but like um, i don't know man if you know the details let me know i don't 
I don't know if I care anymore, but it was just like this weird thing that you did for no reason. It's just like at the back of your head. And I'm like, why? Why the fuck? Yeah, so that's basically feeling guilty about weird shit I've done. Um, I don't know, am I gonna feel guilty about quitting this job? Hey, oh fuck, no, I won't. Hey, boom, 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 boom. Uh, just imagine that you heard those like boobozuelas in the background going off. Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking. I can't edit for shit and I'm like here like being. <laughs> Thank you for watching this stupid 15 minute long video for the first two minutes because that's my average watch time.